Hello friends and good day. This is Fred Wood Tech Talk and we are coming at you today with a video on how you can easily receive uh, motion alert notifications through your cell phone using Dawa's DMSS phone app. It's a very simple process. We've got a lot of emails from people that are having problems trying to use the email exchange servers uh, with the motion alerts. I know Hikvision and Dawa both have that option in the advanced network settings tab. Uh, you can enter your SMTP email exchange server parameters, uh, your outgoing ports and all of that stuff. Um, and it used to work well um, until, um, you know, two-way verification and all of that stuff came into play. Now the manufacturers have made the phone apps and the P2P platform very simple where you can set up your phone app uh, in the notification section to send those alerts to your phone without entering any SMTP server settings, without entering any email addresses, without port forwarding, without any of that. It's a very simple process. We're going to cover it right now. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. We'd appreciate it if you would click that and become a subscriber to our page. You'll be notified when we upload future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments, okay? A lot of these videos are based on viewer and subscriber questions and comments, okay? So yes, the first thing we want to do, whether your camera is a DAWA or a Hikvision camera, you want to make sure that the uh, motion detection function of the camera is enabled, okay? This demo is going to be done with a DAWA camera. The process would be very similar with Hikvision. You are going to go to the um, PC software that you use to manage the camera. Um, with DAWA, we use Smart PSS that you can download from DAWA's website. With Hikvision, of course, it would be the IVMS 4200 uh, client software. From either of those, you can log into the camera and check the event settings, okay? So let's log into Smart PSS. Which it says it's running. Oh, it is running. Look at that. All right. And we will get out of here and go to Live View. This is the control panel for DAWA Smart PSS. You see the Live View tab here. Um, we can make sure the boardwalk camera that we're going to use as a demo is online. And it is. As you can see, it's a 4 megapixel DAWA bullet camera. Uh, it's a beautiful picture. Um, I really like this hardware. So with that said, we now can go into um, the device settings for the camera. Right here you will see device config. And we're going to click on boardwalk. And when we do that, you will know it's online because these two buttons will turn blue, okay? So we're gonna go to the event tab and video detect. And we're gonna make sure this function is enabled. By the way, I hope you guys enjoy this microphone. I have had some horrible feedback that the audio on my video um, is ridiculously bad. As you know, I am a camera installer and a business owner. I am not a professional YouTuber nor do I want to be. These videos are intended to help you guys, installers and do-it-yourselfers, um, and they're not designed to be professional-grade video production. But if the audio was that bad, um, hopefully this helps. So leave me some comments if this is better. I bought a mic for you guys. So, yes, it's enabled. Um, the arm-disarm period is when you want this function to be enabled. Okay, we have it 24-7, seven, seven days a week. Okay, the zone, obviously that is the red square would be the part of the picture um, that triggers the alarm. Okay, um, we want the whole picture. Sensitivity is here too, folks. It's up to 94. Um, usually, you know, about 80 is good. Um, you don't want the trees and the flag and all that type of stuff to set it off. Um, you would prefer just people uh, and vehicles. That's really what we want. So as you set this up, you may have to adjust the sensitivity um, to get it perfect for that environment, okay? So those two things are enabled, okay? That's what we wanted to check. Um, we can hit save. 
And once we do that, the motion functions on the camera are enabled. The rest will be done through the Dawa DMSS phone app, okay? So we're gonna switch over to my phone now. I'll show you how to enable that function and uh, show you what it looks like when you get a real-time alert. So let's switch over to that view. All right, we have switched over to the phone app. And what you would have to do is obviously download the phone app uh, for your hardware. With Dawa, it is the DMSS icon that you see in the third row all the way to the right. It's a blue icon. And with Hikvision, it is Hikvision's HIK Connect. That is in the second row, the second icon, the red icon with the black circle in the middle. Again, this demo is for Dawa's DMSS. There is a link going across the top of your screen right now that will show you and teach you how to download this app from your app store and how to connect devices to it okay whether it be a ip camera nvr or dvr the purpose of this video is not that it is to show you how to set up push notifications uh, for motion alerts so let's go into dmss and as you can see we see that boardwalk camera right here on the top um, so i'll click that and we'll make sure that it's online with the phone and it is okay so to enable uh, motion detection notifications, you will simply go to the gear that's on the top right of the screen, the settings button. When you hit that, one of the options, you'll see the camera, boardwalk, it tells it's online, uh, alarm settings, and then you will see notification, okay? We're going to tap that notification field, and this uh, notification process has already been set up for the camera, but what you would want to do is enable notifications for the camera um, motion detection under motion type you'll want to check that off okay so the channel should be enabled and motion detection uh, should also be enabled if you have a smd camera smart motion detection um, you can click that and you can also um, limit the motion to human and vehicles okay once you do that you can go ahead and hit save And what will happen is you will receive alarm messages anytime there is motion on that property. I previously stated that the motion detection push notifications were enabled on this phone already. So down below, you see those, okay? You'll also see them on the home screen under messages, okay? There's one right there. So these are motion alerts. If you want to see what caused the event, you could actually tap the picture and it will play the event. Okay, so you should see what caused the motion. Let's see if we can see what that was. Well, there's a car going there at the end. Down the end of the pier. That's probably what that was. You could use that red zoning that I showed you when you set up the parameters for the um, motion um, and skip that area if you just wanted the stairwell here or the parking lot you could square in those areas with red um, and that would trigger the motion and the vehicles would not okay hopefully that helps you out it is a lot easier than using the email notification process and the smtp exchange servers port forwarding and all of that stuff this is just pushing buttons and activating the function Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hey, we'll see you in the field.